friends i am sonia we have met before haven't we well today i am on my way with kabir bhaiya and uncle to meet my aunt in her village hey look bhaiya where are they taking that train oh and they are filling something inside the train what is that Yes Sanya I have read about this somewhere this is called shunting during shunting they clean the train and prepare it for the next journey Yes you are absolutely right Kabir the most important part of shunting is checking the train for any technical fault and refueling it What is fuel uncle Fuel is the food for a machine all vehicles for running require fuel like you fill cars with petrol or diesel oh okay sanya do you know petrol is a natural resource it is produced by nature and is available in limited quantities yes and it takes millions of years to be produced Nature takes this long to produce petrol and diesel from a substance called petroleum. Petroleum and how is this petroleum made? Friends, will you help find out more about this? Sanya, do you know on which fuel did the trains run during the older times? Yes uncle I know about it Friends can you guess what that fuel is That's coal You are absolutely right Sanya Okay Sanya let's see how much you know about renewable natural resources and non renewable natural resources I will show you some pictures You will need to identify and categorize the natural resources as renewable or non-renewable. Okay, let's start. Friends I need your help in identifying. Will you help me? Uncle, I know that petrol, diesel and coal are non-renewable resources that are constantly depleting due to high utilization and they cause a lot of pollution too. Hmm, that is true. But do you know many things are made from coal? Friends, Can you refer to your textbooks and list the things that are made from coal and what uses they serve? So, you see, coal is an important product. While it can be used by itself to fuel trains etc, its products such as coal tar is used to make the modern day roads nowadays owing to the excessive use of petrol diesel etc we can see an increase in pollution and also a surge in petrol and diesel prices friends do you think there can be a solution for this one solution is Vehicles running on gas I remember papa got a cng kit installed in the car our car now runs on cng as well Oh yes cng is cheaper and leads to less pollution Absolutely right children these days scientists are actively researching for new resources of fuel that will not cause pollution children do you know any other sources of fuel can you think of an alternate way to run our vehicles 
uncle another alternate that i can think of is the battery powered vehicles and rickshaws do you both know petroleum products not only include lpg and cng gases there are other profitable items that are produced and can be put to many uses uncle petroleum is extracted from an oil rig in the sea isn't it considering that the sea is very big there still must be a lot of petroleum left for us bhaiya i think considering that petroleum is a non renewable resource sooner or later it will definitely be exhausted we must be all sensitive of the fact that it takes millions of years to produce natural resources like petroleum that give us fuels like petrol and diesel and once exhausted it will be too long before we can get them back clean fuels like cng and lpg are friendly for nature and should be adopted more aggressively i agree sanya it is high time we save our planet from problems like pollution climate change etc by using fuels wisely friends let us review what we have learned so far we get natural resources like petroleum coal etc from nature and these sources are exhaustible renewable natural resources such as sunlight wind etc are a gift of nature that are inexhaustible petroleum products include fuel gas wax oil natural gas coal has forms like coke bitumen and coal gas fuels should be used wisely to avoid the problem of pollution climate change etc